What is up guys, Jiffin back for yet another rest video. I hope you guys did enjoy the little base tour and intro here. But without further ado, I'm going to show you guys how to actually build this uh, base here. So if you guys don't want to start out with this right here, this is going to be a core of your base. And we're going to outline the entire thing in walls, just like you guys see me do there. Now it doesn't matter what side that you guys place the first door on here. You don't have to have a door frame on any one of these sides here. This is where your TC will be going. And this is very important you guys do follow this step deck like I do. When you get your TC, you don't want to place it about five to six of these little dots on the, um, the foundation back, right? Now, when you get your vending machine, don't place it all the way back in the opening because if you do, you won't be able to open the TC. So pull it back just a little bit, and if you guys did it correctly, you guys can still open your TC just like you guys see me do there. And then we're gonna place another uh, door here. Now this part's gonna vary on uh, if you guys have a ladder hatch here. If you guys have the ladder hatch, you guys can just go ahead and place this vending machine in here. But since I'm going to have the half fight jump up here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this vending machine in. Oops, I had it for a second, this. Just like this. And I highly recommend that you guys practice both of these on an actual build server because if you guys actually build this on an actual wipe and you place your vending machine too far back or your TC too far uh, back, you won't actually be able to open your TC, which means you're going to have to start on a whole new base, right? So I would recommend that you guys practice on a build server, like I said. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this to the final form now, just so you guys know what it looks like. So we're going to upgrade it just like that. And we're going to add a chute here. So we're going to go ahead and put that in here. Place the door here, a door there, and two here, and two here. And we're going to place the wall right here in the middle here. You can steal these three off here. Um, upgrade this one to armored. Actually, this one can be sheet metal too, because there's many venom machines here anyway. Um, next up what you guys are going to do is, if you guys do not have the ladder hatch, um, you can just put a, a stone floor here, but you will have to pick at it so later. So this, uh, right here, will be a ladder hatch, alright? So once you guys have that, I'm going to turn my mirror command on here. Once you guys have your starter down, you go ahead and place foundations around it, just like you guys see here. So, off of these triangles here, you're going to place two squares, and then on the corners, you're going to have two triangles here. Upgrade these ones on the right side of your thing to armored. Do not upgrade this one. Upgrade these two to sheet metal. And from this twig right here, we're going to build seven squares out with a triangle. So one, two, three, oops, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And triangle on the end. We're going to break these and we come back with half moons here. Just like this. And we can go ahead and we can break all the twig on our way back. Alright. So we can go ahead and we can upgrade these. Just like this. Now this part is very important. So make sure you guys do this now. When you guys um, have this. You're going to need to have a foundation here. But before you guys place that foundation. Place a temporary uh, square here. And you guys are going to need to place a sheet metal one here. Go ahead and upgrade the sheet metal one. And to prevent it from decaying, place two flames in there. And we can go ahead and place two walls here, right? After you guys have that, we can actually come back and we can place this foundation here. Next up, we're going to build a 2x3 here out of stone foundation. We're going to place a one here in the middle. And we're going to place two here. Add two temporary uh, foundations here. And we're going to build a circle here, just like I see there. Get rid of both of them. Place the half floor here, just like that. Place in this frame here. This is how you're gonna uh, connect your TC. Once you have this upgraded, you can place a foundation inside there. We can go ahead and we can place in walls all around it, just like this. And two door frames here. Half floor there. Oops, the top up there. The TCs are gonna go here. I'm not going to put the TCs in because then I'd have to fly around and get them and that's just a little bit of time consuming. Once you have your TCs in, you can go ahead and seal it off with a embrasure here. So just like that. And we can put a frame in here. And we can go ahead and we can seal this, this all off here. Oops. Just like that. Uh, I got to fly around and actually put in these ones here. For some reason it doesn't work on the mirror command. I'm not too sure why. Alright, so once we have all those in, make sure you add a twig of half floor here in all of them. And we're going to come here and upgrade this to sheet metal. 
We're gonna build a temporary half floor here. We can upgrade this to sheet metal. And we can add in oops, a frame there and a frame there. And we can get rid of this. Now here, just three main external TCs done. Just like that. Now, before we're gonna start the compound, we gotta finish up the other three external TCs. So what we're gonna do, it comes to this triangle here. Place one square here, and then build three off of that. So one, two, three. We can get rid of these. Place four triangles in this configuration, just like this. We can get rid of these. Oops, this one needs to stay. Sorry about that. We can upgrade the middle one. And we can put two squares here. Just like that. See here. Place a frame just like this. Place a temporary one here. And another one here. We can go ahead and we can get rid of these. Place half floors here. Just like this. And we're going to build the same thing that we just did for the other external TCs. So the same thing for your external TCs. Go right here. So we can go ahead and we can get rid of them. Half floor here. Put your frame in. And I gotta make sure that they're on all of them. Because sometimes they don't like to place for some reason. Place that. And we're gonna put the walls all around. Just like we did before. Add your doors in here. Add your half floor. This way your bosses go by the way. Just so you guys aren't confused about that. Obviously your TCs go here. Like I said, time safe. Uh, I'll, that, I'll put them in. So then I'll have that to you. Get them all. Alright. Once you have that, we can go ahead and we can place in um, the double frame. Sorry. I'm trying to think of what it was called there for a second. Alright. And we can place in these here. So add them to. But before you place the last one, you gotta come inside here, add this half floor. And if you did it all correctly, you should be able to place this last one in, just like you see me do here, right? So, now that we have all of the external TCs in, we can go ahead and we can actually start on the actual compound itself. So, what we're going to do, is we're going to come over here, and we're going to build the gatehouses real quick. So, place in two walls, like, uh, two windows on both sides of this. These cannot be walls at all, so do not put walls here, this will mess with the stability of uh, this frame here. So these have to be windows or um, double door frames, something like that, but they cannot be a wall, right? So once you have that, put windows on this side here with the embrasure. This allows you to see out if you are getting door camped for whatever reason. Once you have them in, add single doors on both sides here. If you guys want, you guys don't have to have the single door there, that's up to you guys. And then, we can seal this off just like this. Make sure that that's actually doing it all the way around. Now, once we have that done, we're going to head and add another half floor above that. This is where your turrets are going to go. So, they need to add the turret pod. So, you're going to have a turret in this one here, a turret in this one, and same thing for these other gatehouses, right? Next up, what we're going to do is we're going to place the natural compound walls here. And what I like to do is find the D2 here. Come on the inside here. And when you place the wall... You're gonna try lining that up just so it's about in the middle of it, alright? So, if you do it correctly, it should be about right there. And we can come to the other side. Oops. And it should, oops, it should place it. Just like that. Now that we have those in, we're gonna come over to the gatehouses here. And I'm kind of picky when I place this, so sorry about that. And when you place this one, I'll just show you how I place it here. You're going to want to make sure that this wall is clipped into this uh, embrasure just a little bit. And it's behind the first opening here. This first opening actually lets you peek out and it actually shoots somebody. And if you do it correctly, this wall right here should line up just perfect. Just like that, right? Then you're going to do the same thing for this next side here. So, place it so it's just clipped into the embrasure just a little bit. And if you did it correctly, you should be able to place this wall perfectly, just like that. And that right there is your compound done. Next up, we got you going to work on the bunkers here and the entrance to the base. So, we're going to come over here, upgrade these two walls to a high wall. 
And we're gonna make these in sheet metal, just like this. Place in the stone half loads here. Go to that, and add a sheet metal uh, double door frame there. Upgrade this to armored. And we're gonna need a twig um roof here. Sorry. Place the twig one there. And if you can't place it right away like this, you might have to open this from the other side. It all depends. Nope. Oh, let me try this again. Oops. Probably help if I had the thing in here. Oops, let me let me try it in this one here. Although if you can't place this in right away, uh, just have the walls upgraded in stone, and then it'll work. So, if this walls in stone, then you can upgrade it. And then we can get rid of this one. Alright, so once we have this shape here, what we're going to do is place the wall here, all the way on every single side like that. Place a uh, half post here. Go to this. And we can seal this off here. This is going to be a loot room, so make sure you guys do put your bosses in right away. Uh, I'll just put them in real quick here, because I got my symmetry on. Just place your bosses in. Just like this. I'm not going to place them in perfectly, but you guys get the idea anyway. Alright, so put the bosses in. Oops. Go ahead and seal that off, just like this. And it's going to be the same thing for these other sides. Alright, now it depends on the terrain. If you guys build this in a sandbar, you might be able to place bosses in here. If you guys can't place the bosses in there, you guys might be able to put an oil refinery or something like that, right? And once you guys have that, what you guys are going to want to do to make sure that you guys can still get out, is just grab a furnace. You're going to place a furnace in this corner. Oops. And that corner there. And this corner there. So if you guys do fall down here, you guys can still get out. You didn't, that way you guys don't need to have a ladder either, right? Once you guys have that, uh, we're going to come over here. We're going to add honeycomb in for the bunkers. Just like this. And we're going to add walls, or windows here, sorry. Just like this. On all of the sides here. Just like that. And we can put um, half over here. Put a sheet metal one in the middle, and put another stone one here, and add double door frame here. Now, you guys can have a double door frame here, or a single door, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm just going to put a single door there, like I said, it doesn't really matter. And we're going to have to seal that off, just like you guys see there. Place a floor on these two here. We're going to place a ramp in the middle here, just like this. Place a wall here, like this, like that, add another wall on this side, right there, and we're going to add the windows all the way around right here, with another wall right here. And same thing for these other sides as well. Alright, once we have that in, we can put two single doors here, and we can seal this off, just like this. Just like this. Add these frames in here. Now this part, uh, what you guys are going to want to do, place these bosses in first and lock them. So make sure you guys do lock these. Place a temporary half or half wall there. Get rid of that and we can upgrade this. And we can put the low wall in. So make sure you add your bosses before you put this low wall in. It just makes it a little bit easier. So once you guys have that done, what we're going to do is come over here and don't get to add those door frames there and then we can come over here and we can steal this off right here just like that see there we can steal the roof off here just like this and we can add walls here we can add another wall here oops just like that and we can add another loop room here but before we do that um make sure you guys do have a floor here by the way I'm just going to put the bosses in real quick. They don't need to be fancy or anything like that. So I'm just going to put these in real quick. 
and make sure that we add in uh, the windows here. Put these in. Da -da -da. Now, uh, whatever you guys do, uh, I mean, if you guys want, you guys probably could have this here, but uh, I, I wouldn't recommend that. It's up to you guys, though. If you guys want to have this frame here, you guys can have that frame here. I just, I just don't put it in there. So. And we can seal the roof off there. All right. Once we have that part done, we can come over here and fill this up one more. We can add two windows over here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in this one here. Just like that. And this next window is going to go here. Just to have them and put them in like this. Alright, so once we have both of them in there, put a, two walls here. And we can put two walls here on both sides just like this. We're going to build a half floor here. And we're going to add two door frames like this right here. And we can go ahead and take the top off just like this. Oops. Just like this. Alright. These are where your bedrooms are going to go. So we can go ahead and we can uh, start setting them up right now. Put all these in. Uh, make sure you guys put a window here with uh, a reinforced glass window and an embrasure. Sorry about that. That's uh, what I meant. We can go ahead and add a half board here. And add a door here, here, and here. Oops. And then we can put double door frames in the rest of this right here. Just like this. And upgrade this to armor because this is where the second set of bunkers are going to go. Uh, if you guys don't want to have the bunkers there, you guys can just leave this in uh, sheet metal. That's up to you guys. So now that we have it up to here, and this is where the next bunker is going to go, what we're going to do is we're going to build the bunkers up in just a moment. Uh, what I would recommend though is obviously have a ladder hatch. Oops, ladder hatch is here. I have a ladder hatch right here, and a ladder hatch here, and then we can have one right here. So now that we have that part done, uh, we got to come over here and add this framing that I kind of forgot about. So once that's done, we're going to come over here, place a front, er, uh, foundation here, and one right here, just like that. Oops. We got some light going on here. And we can add uh, walls in here like this, just like that. And we can add cheap metal walls here. And don't forget to add these frames in here. It uh, just covers this gap up right here. Whoa. Just cover this gap up right here, right? After we have that, we're gonna place two frame or two floors here, just like this, and a floor here. Place a floor here, and then this one right here. There's gonna be a ladder hatch here as well. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my auto hatch on. This one makes it a little bit easier. So add a, a hatch right there. That it's like gonna add to the peat down inside there, right? Once we have that done, we're gonna come over here and add two windows here and a wall here. Just like this. And we can add a wall here. Add a half wall here with a window. Just like this. And make sure we add a door frame here. And a door frame here. And then we can go ahead and we can seal these two up here. Like this. Add an L-shaped stair. Right, oops, right here. And we can go ahead and seal the rest of this off here. What I would recommend though is add a double door, or two door frames in here. This adds for stability up top, and then we can seal this off just like this. Alright, so what we're going to do for here is add walls here. We can add our door frames in here, and we can go ahead and we can put our vending machines in here. Um, if you guys want to have the doors in right away, you guys can put the doors in. That's up to you guys if you want to have the doors or not. So, let me put the ladder hatch in here quick. Uh, I've got to have the mirror command on. Right. So, when you guys have do this, make sure you guys place the doors in first if you're going gonna to have the doors. If you guys ain't going to have the doors, you can just go ahead and put the vending machines in. So, let me just go ahead and put these in here. There we go. Once we have that, we can seal these off right here. Just like this. Make sure the middle one is high quality though. That's kind of important. All right, so once we have that done, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna add a frame here, and then we can seal this, this off here and add a wall here. Just like you guys see me do there. 
we're gonna add a floor right here. And, oops. We're gonna have a frame there. Just not with a hatch though. So, just like this. Alright. We can put walls around here. Just like this. Now, one of the sides, it doesn't matter what one that you guys do this in. Um, I'm just gonna add this here. Oops. That's where the way inside here is gonna be. This, like I said, this is where I have my electricity room. You guys don't have to do it in the same way that I do it. Personally, I think it's like one of the best ways of doing it. So, if you guys want, you guys can do it. So, this uh, opening's over here. And it's on any of the other sides. Personally, it doesn't really matter. So, it's up to you guys. So, so once we have that done, uh, what I like to do is I like to add um, some frames in here. Just so the sections up the peaks a little bit. You guys don't have to do this, obviously. But, it's, it's kind of nice. Um, that's up to you guys, though. I'm not gonna have it in here. That's up to you guys if you want to guys. If you guys, sorry about the English here. It's up to you guys if you guys want to have those in there or not. Um, I just like to have it open. So, and then we're gonna add a ramp here and a half floor here that I forgot about. Now to do this part here, uh, which you guys didn't want to do, is place a temporary half floor off of this. Oops, not not that side. Or floor here and build it like this. And if you guys do it correctly, you guys can come over here. And you should be able to place this in. And for whatever reason, I don't know why I can't. Oh, I don't know why. Make sure it's connected to the inside there. And then you can. There we go. Alright, so make sure both of these are actually cut to the inside. Sorry about that. And we can get rid of the twig. And it should be left with this shape that's like this. Alright. Now if you guys want, uh, you guys can have this face the other way as well. So you guys can have the, the frame there, and you can have this like this. Doesn't really matter which way uh, that you guys actually do this in. And I can show you guys this. So, doesn't really matter if you have the ramp face one way or, or the other. It acts as the same thing. So doesn't really matter you guys can have the ramp face this way or the other way it's up to you guys all right so after we have the ramps in here what we're gonna d need to do though is we're gonna have to place the floor in here I recommend having this in high quality by the way and then we can go ahead and steal the keys off like this place this one and oops, this one in high quality and these two in high quality here and D2 can be sheet metal. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the stone half floors in here. Like this. Add the sheet metal frame and then seal this off in high wall. Just like this. And we're gonna need to put the same thing in for um, this frame here. So make sure that you have the frame and um, stone. And then oops, this can be sheet metal. So have this wall in stone, place this frame in, and then you can upgrade it. So it should be just like this. What we're going to do then, is we're going to add this here. Not in high quality, sorry. This is going to be in stone, not sheet metal. And that's going to be another way to get down right there. And we can add one more right here. Add a wall here. And another half floor here. Oops. Like this. And that's how we're going to go up to the next floor, right there. Alright, once we have that, we're going to come over here, add frames all the way around here, and a wall right here, Oops. like that, add a door frame here, and a door frame over here, and then add two here for stability, and we can add a door frame here as well, and we need to have a half wall right there, and what I like to do is I like to leave this open right here, or that were open for the most part. You guys can add doors in there if you guys really want to. First thing, I'm gonna, I like leaving it open. That way, if, if people are up here, this is all open so you guys can shoot them. This makes it a little bit easier to actually defend your base here, so. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna steal this off here. Like this. Add that. And we can steal this part off like this. Alright. 
Now, it's kind of important that when you guys um do this, don't add anything on top of this part here. Because if you guys do, I believe it doesn't actually open. Let me just go ahead and double check that. Yeah, see? It's not going to open, alright? So, if you guys have this the floor there, it's not going to open. And without it, it does open, alright? Alright, so once we have that in, we can go ahead and we can seal this outside part off. Oops, just like this. We can seal this off. Just like that. Alright, alright guys, uh, sorry about that cut, I had a kid that was uh, spamming the n-word over here somewhere and... Definitely didn't want that in the video, so I apologize for the cut. Uh, so what we're going to do next to seal this off here is I like to add a sheet metal frame right here and then a floor here. And then we're going to add a floor here, but do not put a frame right here before you put the floor in. If you add this frame that's on the side here, this wall right here will not actually open, right? It's very important that you guys do not add that frame there, right? Once we have that frame in here, we can come up here, and we need to uh, add a half height jump up here to the next floor. So, put that in now before you guys forget. So, put that in just like this. We're going to add a window here. Uh, we're going to have the reinforced uh, window. And add two uh, right there. And add two on the side, or the other side as well. We're going to add a door here. Just like that on all the other sides as well. And we can put a door here as well. Just like this. And we can seal this off like this. And don't seal this top part off here. But we can seal these two off here. What I like to do here is I like to add a half floor honeycombing. Uh, it's not necessary. You guys can obviously do whatever you want with this space here. This is just what I find useful. So like I said this is just personally what I do. Just like that. Now, this part is kind of important here. Make sure you guys do this now. We need to build this part up here. Just like that. This, that gives the stability for all this up here. And once we have that, put two ramps here. We're going to build off of these two here. Temporary. Obviously, don't upgrade these at all. Because there's no point to this. And we're going to upgrade this ramp there and this ramp. And then we can get rid of this stuff here. Just like that. Once we have them in, we're going to come over here, place this wall here, and this wall here on all the sides here, just like I've done. And we're going to come here, and we're going to add uh, windows here with reinforced um, windows and embrasures. The embrasures ain't necessary, but I think it definitely helps. So you guys don't have to have their uh, reinforced, or the embrasures, sorry. You guys don't have to have their embrasure, but definitely have the reinforced windows. You need pieces are meant to look down, not out. That's up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here, place a wall here, and this should be a stone, not sheet metal. And we're gonna add these in here. Just like this. Oops. And I just realized these three ain't supposed to be there. We gotta build this up right here. Oops, not there. This. And we're gonna put a floor here and just like this. And then these go like that. There we go. Just like that. Alright. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna add these two floors here and we're gonna put a ramp here. This ramp is here, uh, your peaks up above, so make sure that that's there. And we can seal this off here, and sheet metal, and we put one there as well. We need to add a wall here, and we need to put frames pretty much everywhere up here. It's not necessary, but it definitely helps for uh, stability reasons. So we need to add them here though, because we're going to have doors in here. Once we have that, we can go ahead and we can seal the roof off here, just like this. Make sure we don't put one here because that's where the roof is. 
And seal this off like this. Now what I like to do here is add the floor frames on. Uh, it doesn't matter what side you add the floor frames on. This allows it so people can't peek in, and it's a smaller gap. Leave this one open, this is where your jump up's gonna be. And we can seal this off here. We can add a half floor behind it. Put the low walls here, this is for your peeks up. Just like that. We can go ahead, we can add a single door here. Doesn't need it to be sheet metal, that can be stone. But these walls, I would recommend having these in sheet metal. Just like that. We can put two windows here. With reinforced window, not the bridger. So add two here. And same thing on the other side. Put a window or a door there. If you guys want, you guys can have this uh, double door here. Or uh, another garage door. It's up to you guys. We can seal the top off like this. And last but not least, we just gotta go ahead and put the actual roof in here. It's kinda tricky to do, but once you have it in, it's not that bad. Go ahead, put these in like this. Last but not least, put half floors here. This part's optional, you guys don't have to have this in here. Uh, it does add a nice little peak if you're getting raided here. Oops, not there. Like this. It is kinda tricky to actually place these, not gonna lie, so. Might be easier to put the windows in and then the ramps. So once we have these three, oops, no, that's not gonna work. Oh, there we go. Alright, so once we have all them in there, I'd recommend adding half the uh, walls on the side here, so doing a shot in the freaking head. Just like that. And last but not least, we need to add these turret pots in here, just like this, on all the sides there. And then the plate for the windmills is this what I like to do. I like to add them right here. We can build them two to three up. I know I may build them about three high here. And we just slap the roof on there. Obviously you guys will put your netting in so you guys can get up there. But that's the base guys. Hope you guys did enjoy that. If you guys did enjoy this video, smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe, turn the notification bell on. And if you guys haven't already joined my Discord, so you guys get notified of when I do upload. Uh, I should have a new base video coming out within the next couple days. So Please stay tuned for that, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.